hope everybody enjoy our channel, unknown channel. Today is Sunday morning, and I will show you some information about unemployment. As you know, unemployment is a central issue in every society and economy, especially in present time when the speed of social economic development is increasing rapidly. By the way, unemployment has assisted in many countries, including developed and developing countries. In Vietnam, that situation has arisen since the country was in transformed into a market economy. To compare with the world, although the unemployment of Vietnam in recent years is still a modest figure, the serious problem has arisen from the high unemployment rates among youth. And then I would like to give you more information about unemployment issue. Let's go out with the other reporters to interview some teenagers to uh, console their ideas about this issue. What do you think about uh, unemployment? Mm, I feel myself so uh, Julius uh, just uh, Hanging around with nothing to do, I can have um, to support my family. Uh, I'm feeling uh, very disappointed about myself. College and university students should find a part-time job uh, before they graduate, so that they can gain more experience. So that after they graduate, uh, employers will tend to hire them. Wage rate and employment in most developing countries. I think in developing countries, uh, especially the education, um, they don't really for students uh, to choose exactly the job. In recent years, the role of economic sectors has become stronger and stronger than ever before. However, the strong and complicated development of the market economy has borne many challenges such as the labor selection rejection of the market lead to loss of jobs and unemployment of employees according to the data from the world bank the vietnam youth unemployment rate was 6.26% in 2010. After that, this rate worked dramatically to 5.09% in 2012, but then rose to 639% and 7.28% in 2016 and 20, uh, 2017 respectively. Well, uh, there are some data about general statistics of office in Vietnam. First of all, as you can see the highest data of this given graph. You can see this is the, the last quarter of July of 2016. And this is the rate, the highest rates. It take place 2.34%. Next, and then the second common rate of unemployment uh, in, in the first quarter of 2017, in gen, uh, January, it takes place 2.31. And you can see that is the big change from the highest rate, 2.34. Uh, to the last quarter of 2016 and 19 is 2.17. Uh, as you can see, that uh, the proportion of employment in Vietnam of youth is has a has a uh, rapid rise, and is is that a good thing? And is that a good news for government? In general, uh, there 
are some big name labor like percentage of unemployment rates in the last 2.17 percent reflected 2.19 percent the highest is 4.5 percent and the lowest is 1.81 percent the number of employed person like um, you can see the last in the first same 54 million. The number of unemployed person is you can see the highest 2.3 million. The figure of minimum wage is 1 million dollars. There are a lot of reasons of youth unemployment. But the most common causes is lack of school. It takes 66 percent, and the second one is job selectivity with 55, with 59.6 percent. Uh, because of these uh, causes, so we think we have some less effect. The first thing is poverty and migration. It takes 66.7 percent. The secondly uh, is low sum of this curve tech, 58.9%. Uh, the unemployment rate in the U.S. right now is very low. It's at 3.8%. So that means that we have a high percentage of people that have jobs in the U.S. But a lot of those people are working two to three jobs. They're making at minimum wage or below minimum wage if they're working service jobs. Unemployment is... Um, not a big deal right now because a lot of people already have a job. This is a suggestion to your unemployment. Now I will show for you uh, some video about a uh, way to show that issue. According to you, um, how to reduce unemployment? Uh, in my opinion, uh, I will study more to uh, improve uh, self value um, and. Um, must have an, a new uh, work uh, willpower. And besides that, uh, the government should create more cities like Ho Chi Minh City or Nha Trang City and they can start at uh, Phan Thiết because if they create more industrial cities like Ho Chi Minh and Nha Trang, more people will start to go to those new cities so that the, 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 the rate of unemployment in the old cities will drop and also they should create more jobs for university students. The real problem is that the people who already have a job don't have a good time working. They're bored and they're unhappy. So we should focus on uh, trying to help people get better jobs. Firstly, Vietnam current educational is not aiming to meet social demands. As a result, a new educational model which had correlation between theory and practice needs to be built. Specifically, college and university should collaborate with the enterprise to create the employment opportunity for students in, uh, in order to um, help them to see the real skills in working. Secondly, the industrial zones should be developed in order to exchange a lot of laborers who are not highly qualified for work. Finally, the government should have policies in completing the unemployment insurance system to support unemployed. As a matter of fact, the unemployment will uh, support to ensure the lives of workers as well as provide the helping in order to find out a job and return to work as soon as possible. Besides unemployment, insurance will also help to reduce the burden on the budget of state and enterprise. Now we are going to explain some difficult words. The first word we have center. Center is a countable noun. It means economic area. One of the areas into which the economic activity 
see how a country is divided. The second word we have correlation is a countable and uncountable noun. A con is mean a connection or relationship between two or more things. Another word like collaborate. You, you, it's a verb, and you can see the pronunciation of UK and US is same. It means work with someone else for a special purpose. If you don't know this word, you can use it like work with. Uh, we have um, this is a verb, and it's the same meaning with poem. This means to point or direct a weak point towards someone or something that you want to be. In addition, we have where it's an uh, informal noun. Uh, it means everything that you might want or expect to buy in a particular situation. It's the same meaning with everything. And the last one, we have enterprise. Uh, this is a noun, and you can see the pronunciation of UK and US is different. Enterprise, in, you can replace it by business. It means an organization, especially a business, or a difficult and important plan, especially one that you will earn money. Mày đang thiếu rồi oh, in, recent years, uh, in recent years The, the common cause of <laughs> There are a lot of Causes <laughs> Situation uh, to your unemployment Something like that Should Cái gì vậy? The burden <laughs>